But a big issue from leaving your filler prints out in the open air is that they can absorb moisture. Well, Eson is trying to change that with their new e-box. Hi, I'm John for 3D Filler Print, and today we're going to be unboxing the e-box from Eson. So the e-box comes in some very nice pristine white packaging. Uh, hand up the top, under the tab, open it up. Ah, perfect. You can see there they've got some lovely protective foam, keeps it nice protected while it's shipping, especially as it is just plastic. I'm gonna carefully slip it out of the box. Lovely, I'll pop the box to the side. Pull off the foam from the top and the bottom, back to the side, there we go. So in the box, we've got the device itself, as well as some handy instructions, which we'll also put to the side. Uh, looks very, again, packed very well, protected, with some foam in the middle, as well as uh, a tube, which I presume a filament gets fed through. A standard UK plug, uh, I presume whichever country you're in, come with your respective plug. And you can see inside the device itself, the rollers. First impressions, quite sturdy. On the back we've got a power plug, as well as some safety dump too. Perfect, right. So, let's get this plugged in. So now I've plugged in the device, we'll load in our filament. However, always remember to check the label before you start operating it. Today, we're gonna to be using Eson's PLA Plus, but first, we're gonna be popping in our silica gel. There's a compartment just at the back here to house it in. It lasts for about 12 months, and that's to keep out any moisture that may have um, re been retained once you close the lid of the device. So, we'll grab the end of our spool, pop it in bottom first, onto the rollers with uh, the end poking out. So once we've got the end of our spool, we start feeding it through the tube. Now what I quite like is that the spool requires very little pressure to move on the rollers at the bottom which means printing should remain quite smooth. Lovely. So it's popped out the bottom there. We'll attach the tube onto the end there. And then we'll close the lid of the device. Perfect. So now we're ready to start attaching this to our printer. Remember to power on the device before you've loaded your spool. And this zeroes the weight and gives you a true reading once you've placed the spool into the device. As you can see, I was sitting at around 976 with some of the filament going through the tube already. Uh, here's your power button, here's the mode changing button, and on the other side are your control buttons. I'll just quickly go through the modes. So at the moment it's showing the weight in grams. Once you press the mode button again, we get taken to the same weight in pounds. Click it again, this takes to our, uh, our weight setting mode. This uh, allows us to set the weight of the spool, the empty spool, in order to adjust for the weight difference and give us an accurate reading. Press it again, takes it to the temperature. Here we can set the temperature of the device and how warm you want your filament to be to keep it dry. And once more, shows us the time that it's going to be heated for, so you can set a timer so it's not on constantly. And then back to the start again. Now the device is operating, you can hear it's going to be quieter than a normal FDM printer. And overall, we think it's a great device to keep your filament fresh and ready for printing. If you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe. Also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. If you do want to buy the eBox or the Eson PLA Plus, feel free to visit our store, links in the description. And we will be doing more content like this, unboxing, demos, and we can show off other cool builds like these.